What's up everybody? We are doing a truck tour today for my 1991 Mercedes G-Wagon. I get asked a lot about what this is, what I've done to it, where it came from, so I wanted to give you a little walk around and explain everything we've done. So when I got the truck, it was totally bone stock. It was a white truck with steel skinny wheels, just totally, totally stock. The truck came from Germany. The thing about these is that they were never sold in America, and they're kind of hard to find and also even harder to import and register in California. Half of the purpose of this truck was to have like a surf adventure mobile, so I figured that you was kind of the best license plate for me. And clearly I ran over something because this is bent here and also loose. One of the first mods I did was getting the uh, guards for the headlights and the turn signals. These are super cool, they pop open so you can clean them in there. Protects them for when you're off-roading going crazy. They just look cool, that's why. That's why I got them, that's why I like them. I have 32 inch uh, Toyo Open Country RTs, then but I powder coated them black. I have 50 millimeter spaces in here, which is huge because with the fenders, which we'll talk about in a second, the wheels need to come out more to make it look, look right. And then I have a two inch lift um, under the springs, which is just a urethane block that goes underneath your springs and raises it two inches. Um, I got Bilstein shocks. My shocks were totally shot when I bought the truck. It was almost scary driving it. You just bounce all over the place. So I got new shocks, that made a big difference. So uh, next up on the mod list is the G55 fenders. So I got these, I got these painted uh, satin black, and then I also got side steps. Now the side steps are really hard because they don't make shorter side steps in the States and, so, and I couldn't import them from Europe. So we literally just bought full size side steps and chopped the ends off to make them fit. And then the exhaust, so uh, it's not an AMG, it says AMG, I'm, I am lying, I'm fronting there a little bit. But I always love the look of the exhaust at the side, and my exhaust did come out here, but it just had a little small pipe, so I liked the look. So I bought tips on eBay, and then went to a muffler shop and they welded them on. So with G-Wagons, the chassis and the frame are all exactly the same. So they produced the same truck essentially for 27 or 28 years. So like, these wheels are off of 2002, the fenders are off 2005, all these other, like these are off in 2007. There's literally almost 30 years of car parts that you can pick from. So that was super helpful. Oh, hey there, didn't see ya. Uh, the next mod is the sliding windows. So I haven't talked about this yet, but one of the biggest problems I have with this car is that there's no air conditioning. And living in LA in the summertime, it becomes atrocious. So I got these sliding windows because these were full, a full panel window and you couldn't open them. So the idea is that you have obviously a window you can open in the back to get more airflow. Uh, these are rad, though they are really noisy. This just the wind hits this and it <laughs> becomes very loud in the car. But whatever, uh, they're sweet, so fuck it. Moving on, so we have this wheel in the back. The way that you normally do the wheel is that it faces in and it bolts closer to the rear door, but it looks way sweeter when you see the whole rim and tire. Did a bunch of research, had a guy fabricate it, I sent him my thing, he built a thing to have this facing out, which is sweet. I, I always was just like, yo, a ladder on the car is the coolest thing ever, which leads us into climbing up on top of your car to go to the roof rack. So I am sitting on the best roof rack you can get for a G-Wagon. This is a Front Runner Slimline 2 roof rack. It's super modular, they make racks to fit any vehicle. Um, and the, the way that they've designed this is like, it blows my mind. It has all the coolest features ever. I also have a Front Runner rooftop tent, which is the coolest thing ever. But when I go camp or go adventure, I put the, the tent on the top and it's, it's the best thing ever. I love how it looks, it fits perfectly. And the dudes at Front Runner are awesome, so. Shout out to them. The next coolest thing about this roof rack is this front runner awning. It's a six by six canopy that folds out. It has retractable poles, um, but this thing is super handy. This just stays on the whole time. Because this truck is a vintage truck, it essentially has no electronics in it at all. But for me, someone who is a big fan of electronics, I have to put some kind of high technology thing in here. So I got this new Pioneer uh, deck in with this awesome seven inch flip out screen. And so now it has CarPlay, so it connects to my phone and I have my maps, I have my music, I have messages, and I have this uh, mic up here. So now I can make calls on in my car without having uh, major cable issues and people can actually hear me now. So when I first got the car, it had two four inch speakers down in the corner and then these tweeters up here. And like, you could hear the music, but it wasn't really good. So if you see back here, I put a six by nine inch speaker on both sides. I got a little amplifier. I replaced the speakers up front and up top. So now it kinda 
You can bubble a bit. Back in the day, like as you can see, it's like this is a utility vehicle. It's not the luxury vehicles that we think of today. And so uh, there's no cup holders. And I, I gotta have a drink when I'm driving around LA, especially with no AC. I don't know if this might have been like the first mod I did. Was I installed a cup holder back here, which is actually Mercedes branded cup holder. Um, and it flips out, and it flips up, and then you can put your, uh, your iced Americanos in there. So after all these mods, I have to obviously protect the car, and that's why I recently installed an alarm. It doesn't have any power windows or anything, but it does have power door locks, so that's super handy. I have sort of keyless entry now. It's just a standard alarm that for motion sensor, and obviously if you open the door, it'll go off. But I also have GPS tracking. In the unfortunate case where the car maybe does get stolen, then I can find it, and I will never lose it. Because this is a one of a kind, I modded this whole thing myself, and there's probably only like 15 or 20 of these trucks in the States now. So obviously I have to protect my investment with good, uh, good old alarm system. That's it, that's my truck. This is my baby, I love her tremendously. It doesn't really have a name, but like, it's whatever. It's my truck, I know who it is. Uh, it's my daily driver now. It's really tall, it doesn't fit in parking structures and parking garages, so that's a bit of a pain in the butt. But uh, it's super fun to drive. And uh, I, I just love, I love the truck. And so I just wanted to share with you guys what I've done, what I've put into it, and what it looks like now. So thanks for watching. Uh, plenty more stuff coming. So if you have a sweet truck, or like if you know off-road trails, if you're off-roading around California, let me know where you go. And uh, I will see you guys next time. All right, peace.